guys I hope you're doing great today um, gumballs clutch has started to hatch I just came in to check on eggs and we have quite a few that are pipping we have two that are actually out of the egg um, they're hiding under some moss I'll show them to you in just a minute and we have about eight more that are pipping and starting to poke their little noses out so they're a little early I wasn't anticipating them to start hatching for another couple of days but that seems to happen a lot with gumballs clutches and I don't really know why because <laughs> I I incubate them all the same so anyway um, not too much happening right at the moment but I just wanted to show you that we do have some little guys pipping here and let's see so there's one of the guys that's hatched already it's a normal and there's another one under this moss here too let's see if I can ah there he is one literally just came out of his egg in the last three minutes and then the other one has been out for a little bit and then I just discovered that they're starting to hatch now and I see this one's gonna escape here so no get back in there <laughs> no 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 get back in there I'll cover him up oh <laughs> now he's over here <laughs> no come on go back down um, so anyway, that's it for right now. Um, I'm going to shut the camera off until we have a little more happening, but I just wanted to start the video of this clutch. So as soon as we have uh, more news, I will turn the camera on again. Hey guys, well I'm back again. And as you can see, we have another baby that left the egg right here in the left here. Um, so we now have three out of the eggs, which we still have quite a few to go. Um, I, let's see, I think we have 11 to go yet, so <laughs> it'll be a while, but these guys are pretty fast pippers, and they're all doing it pretty much at the same time. My last two clutches, they kind of hatched over a span of about three days, so, but that's gumballs for you. They always come early, and they always leave the egg all at the same time, <laughs> so anyway, so this is the one that just came out of the egg. Um, she has a real pretty heart on her head, I see. And um, the other two that have hatched are, they're normals. They're under this, this moss right here. And there they are. And every time I lift up the moss, they think that it's time to leave. So then they start cruising all over. <laughs> so I'm going to put the moss back. But <laughs> Okay, well that's it for now. Just a quick little video. I just wanted to show you this, the latest one that came out. And I will turn the camera back on when we have something else going on. Hey guys, well back again. Looks like we've had two more hatch. Uh, you can see right in front of the camera here is a little snow that hatched. And it looks like we had another, looks like another normal, we had another normal um, hatch also. So, just kind of here they are. <laughs> I leave the lid off of this too long they all start going in different directions so and they're fast <laughs> so anyway just a quick little update and we just have this sweet little snow right here and she he or she is very pretty and then we had one more normal so okay that's it just another uh, update and now we have all the remainder of the eggs over here are pipping now. This one just, this was the last one right here. And that one has started pipping within the last hour. So, um, yeah, gumballs clutches always hatch really fast and all at the same time. My other snakes' eggs take sometimes over the course of three days to hatch. Uh, but gumballs have always hatched very quickly, so... Okay, that's it. Just another quick update, and I'll come back again when we have more news.
Hey guys, I hope you're doing great today. Uh, we finally have everybody hatched. There's our last egg. And that little guy was holding out all night long, but he finally came out of his egg. So we're gonna move that one here. And now here are the babies. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do next is uh, give them a really quick rinse in some nice warm water, just to get the kind of the egg gook off of them that sticks to them from they're in their egg. and. Then, since they're in vermiculite, that sticks to them also. There's a couple more over here. Um, and then I'm going to get them settled in an enclosure so they can start working on shedding. As you can see, quite a few of these are actually rather dull. Um, they're not very bright, and that's because they're going to immediately start shedding. So we won't really be able to see their true colors until after they shed. And that usually occurs roughly seven days after hatching, seven to ten days, depending on how motivated they are. <laughs> so, okay, well that's it for now, and um, we have some very nice babies here. I'm not going to disturb them too much because I have to get their enclosure set up. I'm not quite done setting it up, and I don't want to have them all flying out of this container at the same time in all different directions, which is what they usually do. <laughs> so. Okay, well that's it for now. You guys take care. Have a great day. Bye.